Hi. So in this episode of Excel Fun 101, I'm going to try to show how to create a little spreadsheet in Excel that will actually do some simple calculations. So if you take a look at what our Excel spreadsheet is showing, there's three columns right now. There's time, volume of liquid and burette, and actual volume. Again, this is just bogus stuff I'm making up. So let's imagine that in the first column, we want to have numbers um, that are sequential. One, two, three, four, etc. But we want to go all the way up to 100. So it's really a giant pain to type 4 to 100, and it seems a little bit silly. So what we're going to do is do a very basic formula in Excel. Um, so what we can do is first click on the cell where we want the next number to come. Then we go up to the formula bar type equals. Equals is Excel's way of knowing that a formula is coming. So we type equals, then click on the cell that we're, the previous cell that we're going to add one to. So we click on this cell. Notice it shows up as A5. Get it? Column A, row 5. Then we just add, say, type in plus 1 and click enter or return. So it automatically calculates that as 5 because the value of the cell A5 plus 1 was equal to 5. In other words, 4 plus 1 is 5. So that doesn't seem like it saves much time if we have to do that with each cell. But here's the cool part. Watch the cursor really closely. If I move it to the bottom right of the cell, it turns into that different shaped or different sort of drawn plus sign. Now I can click and drag, and it will fill down all the that same value, that same formula, all the way down. So I can click and drag this until I get down to about cell 100. All the way down, it fills those numbers. If I click on one random one, it's telling me it's equal to cell A41 plus value 1. Here's cell A73 plus 1. And the value of cell A73 is 72. 72 plus 1, 73. So let's imagine that I had just data here that I had recorded in lab. 50, 49, 48.3, 48.1, 47.3, etc. And so what I need to do, let's imagine that for some reason I need to make, take all these numbers and subtract them from 50. So in other words, 50 minus 50, 50 minus 49, 50 minus 48.3, 50 minus 48.1. We can do the same thing. Click on the cell where we want the first value to go, type equals, click on the cell we're going to initially take, uh, sorry, we're going to type in 50, then minus the cell that we're subtracting the value of. Click enter, 50 minus 50 is 0, and do the same thing, move the cursor over to here, and we can drag down, so it's automatically going to calculate 50 minus each of these values.